How's it guys? What's going on? My name is Rishan. Welcome back to Tech Scene Today. So, with ESCOM announcing two years of ongoing load shedding, I think it's just going to cause more and more problems. So that's why today we're looking at the Volcano Mini UPS. So if this is your first time here, you better make sure you subscribe because you're missing out on all the awesome content that we put out. This is a part of the Volcano Sustain series and it actually promises us up to 4 hours of uptime through its 19.24 watt hour or 5200 milliamp hour battery. So some of its product features, it has a 12 volt and a 9 volt output as well as a 5 volt USB output and a 24 volt PoE or power over ethernet output. It has overcharge and over discharge protection as well as comes built in with overcurrent and short circuit protection. So it is quite a smart little device. So this product retails for about 680 Rand on take a lot and it actually has a sister product for Wi-Fi or CCTV devices with a multi output that retails for about 800 Rand. So this device, more especially, is more geared to a single output rather than a multi-output. So if you think about it more of an ADSL, more than a fiber output, because a fiber you'd have your ONT and then you'd have your router compared to a um, ADSL where you're just having to keep your modem online. But I mean, that doesn't stop you from buying two of these to just make sure it lasts longer. So along with its benefits, it comes with a 2 meter cable extension as well as the cable that connects from this device to your router. But the one thing to make mention of, and I've actually seen it on some people's reviews on the product on Tekala, is that you need to check if your device is actually compatible with this sort of output uh, connector. Because we also experience the same issue. This connects to our ONT but our D-Link DR825 router it actually has a different charging pin compared to this output so it can catch you out and um, I think you need to do your homework before actually going ahead and buying these devices I can um, surely say that all Huawei devices would be supported by this uh, charging pin and I guess unless you that sort of um, high-end user that's replacing your your fiber router most of the people go with the router that's supplied by the ISP which is most in most cases the Huawei router and the Huawei ONT but that's just my two cents I think all in all this device is actually quite a good device and when we were doing product testing on the device it took us about six and a half say seven hours to charge it fully okay so when we ran the test it was lasting us about four hours 15 four hours 20 and it was just running one device which was our OMT so I mean all in all as a single output device for keeping it online for four hours it works great and I think another thing that contributes to this is the fact that it has a manual on and off button so it's kind of bittersweet the manual on and, on and off button. So if you're expecting longer terms of load shedding, you can actually switch the device off. If you're not going to be at home or you don't want to use the Wi-Fi so that you can prolong its life. But it's also, you can mistakenly leave it on and the device can just die. And I've seen some people say, hey, they like it. And some people say, hey, you know what? I don't know what's going on sometimes. Sometimes I leave it on and it dies before I actually need to use it. And that feature that I'm actually rambling on about is a feature that's built into your UPSs, like the actual UPSs, they beep to tell you that, you know what, it's using the battery now so that you know you consuming the battery. This doesn't do that, it's just on or off and unless you look at it, you won't be able to tell. But I mean, the fact that it comes built in with the phone charger because I mean when load shedding kicks in I can comfortably assure you that 99% of the time five minutes before load shedding starts we are all rushing to charge our phone <laughs> so that's why it's a good thing that it has the USB charger 
So you can actually charge your phone. If you're not necessarily wanting to use the Wi-Fi, you can use this to charge your phone. Although it isn't the best use of this, but it is an available option. Actually, when we tested it back in Joba, it actually did that. It switched on the Wi-Fi and it let us charge both our phones because we were that desperate to charge our phones because we were battling for power at that point. Um, but I dug grace. A bit of my personal opinion, I think it would be nice if they had a bit of a support listing saying, oh, okay, these are the routers that can connect with this cable. And maybe even if they offered a different cable that we could use to connect um, other devices that aren't supported by the supplied cable. I mean, for the state that we're in in load shedding, we would definitely happily just buy the device. You have to think about those things when you are buying it. If you're just powering a single device, if you want to have two of these so you know it's each device is supported independently and that if one thing breaks your whole uh, sort of ups system doesn't go down then that is also an option as well so you have to look at it but i think all in all it is a great device and i actually enjoyed testing it although it was just uh, uh, sitting and watching time but it was quite a cool device to test and I think it's a great device, so if you are thinking about purchasing it, go ahead, don't worry, it's not something that you're going to regret. And it has the Texian ZA stamp of approval. So I'd just like to say thank you to Volcano for sending out this device for us to review, and I hope that we could work well with them in the future so that we can review more of the devices. But that brings us to the end guys so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did if you have any questions on the product you can leave it uh, leave your questions in the comment section below and i'll be sure to try my best to answer them but yeah guys thank you very much for watching my name is Prashant, and i'll see you in the next video yeah.